Okay, so um, Wednesday, July 18th. So on Monday, I announced my uh, soon departure. Your retirement. Exit, my soon here. retirement. You're not leaving. Yeah. I you know. say you are, but you really, really are. I announced my termination. I mean, I mean, my uh, uh, yeah, I got fired. I mean, no, I'm quitting. Uh, actually, I, I announced that on Monday, and um, little did I know uh, how quickly folks would come and start auditioning. We we interviewed for, for my job. We interviewed seven people yesterday. Seven people interviewed. Yeah, and it was a busy day for for Robbie and I. Yeah, Chris, sorry you couldn't make it. Yeah, seven people that Every might lunch. that might might be it might be it might be one of these people. Yeah, yeah, he has a good job. Well, but he needs to find his next his next c- cohort. Yeah, in so, this situation. So this it could be one of these seven people yeah. and the Chris Morning Show, or probably in that situation it would be the Chris and, and somebody else and show. this person's Morning Show, which it technically probably should have been all along. <laughs> I think it sounds better. Good thing. Yeah. Chris and Jeremy. Yeah, but they they. I don't think it doesn't flow. I think that's why they either. chose. They didn't choose yeah. it because of any kind of. Well, it may have flown if it had been start with. Yeah, if it had been yeah. Chris and Jeremy. That's a good point. Show. Yeah, that's a good it point. might have been. So well, yeah, we we interviewed seven people, seven different candidates. Let me just say, are they they, strong. Some of them, yes. Some weaker than others. Yeah, uh, one of them actually called the other day, Earl. Actually interviewed for the morning show. Wow! And so I, I, that'd be interesting. We we got him to put his name into the intro of the show just so we can kind of get a feel of, yeah, of how, how that it would sounded. sound. Yeah. yeah. So he, here it is. All right, this is Earl Earl yeah. Diffie, right? Yeah. Okay. Earl, it's a Earl Diffie. Chris morning show. So I mean, it's got a little bit of a ring. First to of it. all, first of all, I gotta say that's the first time I've known his last name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Earl. Well, I mean, this is well, Joe Diffie. He's actually related to Joe Diffie. It's kind of like Cher mm-hmm. or Madonna. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Play that one more it's time. It's just Earl. Play that one more time. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. It's a Earl Diffie. Chris <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of a it flows a little yeah. bit. So his interview was. I, I like that way yeah. that sounds. Earl. Although I don't like the thought of doing the show with Earl. Now he. <laughs> now we did the interview in the RV. It would never be boring. No. Well, did, did you hear me? We did the interview in the RV. Wow. Robbie and I did not want to get on that thing. Because I guess not. Was your experience bad? It was It was special. Yeah. Very special. A little bit of an well, odor, odor, well, odor issue? Yeah. What? Well, since Earl was here, Lorraine was here. Yeah. And so Lorraine, and she, we decided to interview her. Well, yeah, we'll give Maybe her, we'll we go with a female. Shot. Go we'll with a female shot. voice. Right, so oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. So here's Lorraine's. It's a tr- Lorraine Swanson. Chris! Morning show. Why does she have a different last name than Earl? <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows what they're she doing? She kept her, you know. Yeah. She kept her name. Uh, she wow. wanted to keep her own identity. I don't know. Every morning with it's a t- Lorraine Swanson. Chris <laughs> morning show. It, it, I mean, it doesn't flow like like Earl's, but I mean, I think it would be a good voice to hear on the morning show. I got to come clean. This is a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> So we we had some other we had some other interviews. We had a celebrity come by. Mm-hmm. Morgan Freeman came by yesterday. Oh, that's cool. And and I'll tell you, how come he didn't call me? Mm-hmm. Well, we tried, but you didn't answer. Mm-hmm. Which because you were counting diapers, probably. Yeah, number crunching, counting diapers. Yeah, but um, let me just say, when Morgan walked through the door, you could just feel the the presence. Oh yeah. It was there was something special about him. Yeah, well, let's listen to more. Keep all the women away from him. All the young, on the younger women <laughs> <laughs> and older. It's too yeah. too soon. Not too, too soon. soon. Sorry, okay. sorry, right. It's Morgan Freeman. Chris morning. I mean, I think we could get some listeners with Morgan Freeman on the show. <laughs> I think you're right. We could pull that off. We oh. could get a whole new demographic in, in this place. What does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. And, and we might lose one demographic. Yeah. You know, all women. You know. <laughs> True. True. Who are very important. Yeah. yeah. We love women. So, so Morgan's was, uh, he's a very smart man, by the way. Mm. Uh, who else did we have? We had um, Daniel Clem came by. Now, this is a strong candidate right here. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Clem. Daniels was, was pretty good, but so here's Daniels. Yeah, and he's done this before, too, hasn't he? Back in the day. I think he did. Yeah, yeah he did it a little while with Wayne. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's a tr- Daniel Clem. Chris Morning Show. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, that kind of sounds like the previous one we just did. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. <laughs> uh, no. Daniel Clem. Chris Mo- uh, Hang on a minute. It's a t- 
Morgan Freeman. No. Yeah. See? No, I don't think it does. Yeah. It's, a it's like they're the, yeah, it's, mm. they're the same people. They seem like yeah. it, but surely not, not right? But nah. Daniel had a, had a good interview. Yeah. Some... Some yeah. weird moments. He's got some skeletons, though, doesn't he? he yeah, definitely some skeletons. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know about these. This is a game. They involve a goat? I don't know. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, it's just a goat. Do you really call that a skeleton? I mean, because there are several of us. It's, it's you know. a goat skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it's legit. It would I mean, be kind of weird. I mean, we mean that, literally. <laughs> it's a goat skeleton. Goat skeleton. Yeah. I, but... <laughs> Why does he have a goat skeleton? I don't skeleton? know. It's really weird. That's what the problem is. <laughs> yeah. Who has a goat skeleton? Hey, that's just weird. Greg Armstrong. Yeah. Um, oh, why didn't y'all audition Greg? Well, we still got more to go today. Greg, if you're listening, I'm going to call you back eventually. I'm sorry. I haven't called him back yet. He's okay. been calling me for days. Greg? Greg, Greg yeah. You're in the show? No. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Uh, all right. You know, another interview that, that stood out to me, and I think... We wouldn't have to put his whole name in the thing, but we wouldn't have to change any of our imaging. It's Jeremy Hyde. He actually oh, came by for an interview. This is good. It's a t- Jeremy Hyde. Chris morning. I mean, he wouldn't even have he to wanted, do that. Well, he wanted to put his name in there. He wanted to say it himself. But see, you could just leave everything like it is and just the Jeremy and Chris morning. We wouldn't have show. to change the, the, the little stick figure. What man? <laughs> wait, you say wait, you would or what? Wait, wait you wouldn't have to. Yeah, he said, I thought he said would. No, I thought he said would. I'm would. Going, that doesn't make any sense. No, no you wouldn't. wouldn't. Wouldn't have to. You just have to draw some hair on. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we grab a sharpie on every T-shirt we have. Yeah. We just, just excuse, it on excuse me, ma'am. Uh, hold still. <laughs> can I borrow your T-shirt just a minute? Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> He's for about all to sharpie my chest for all fifty of them that <laughs> yeah, we passed out. Right? <laughs> Hyde, Hyde's interview was really, really good. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he really is. Of course, we, we you talked to him yesterday. Sure. Did you get a good feel from him? Oh yeah, always get a good feel. I mean, he always cops a good feel. I mean, he well, always. What difference does it make what he thinks? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. True. We are. Right? We are firing. I mean, he is leaving. <laughs> yeah. Firing, leaving, uh, resigning. Yeah. I'm resigning. I right. say the the number one interview that we had yesterday, and this it's going to shock a lot you of people. You still got two two of oh, them left. Do the do the one that that doesn't work here. The one that doesn't work here. Okay, yeah, okay. And I can't remember who that is. Well, it's Chief Charles Clifton. Oh yeah, Clifton came by. The boss of Ani Adip- How about uh, that? of OPD. So yeah. he had a really good, strong interview. All but right. here's here's Clifton's. All right. Chief Clifton. Chris morning. <laughs> <laughs> that, that flows. I have a sense you just lifted that from some other audio or something. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he, he, was, he was actually here okay. yesterday. Oh, you he really did actually, come by? Yeah, yeah, he was actually here yesterday. Okay. And uh, good interview. Yeah. I was kind of intimidated. Sure. I well, mean, he was packing. Hey, more ways than one. Always is. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what know, does that mean? But it's provocative. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Busting out the vocabulary. Uh, now, uh, now I'm packing in more than one way, too, but it, mine yeah. are boxes. <laughs> mine are boxes at my house. Anybody wants to come help, God you, bless you. You've got water guns. Yeah, I do. And I got a extra. You know. Okay, so this, this last guy that we interviewed... Um, I think could be a home run hire in, in more ways than one. Well, but here's the thing: it, you wouldn't he, really have to hire him. It's true, but here's the thing, though: if he did the morning show, there would be no more swap shop. Oh, Tim interviewed unless too. the morning show becomes the swap, swap shop. shop. Three hours of it. Three hours. You, <laughs> look, Chris, you and Tim could do the swap shop together. Chris, what do you know about guinea hens? It would be riveting. Yeah. No doubt. What do you oh know about guinea gosh. hens, Chris? Well, I mean, you, 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 a little bit. I think I can learn. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tim will teach you. And, but here's Tim's intro. I think it's good. It's Tim Shambly. I mean, he sounds so excited. Okay. He didn't pass the audition with that kind of a read. I, I thought it. I thought he was excited his for it. Energy was, do it again. I his think his energy's he, not. It's a little low. Like he's he doesn't want to do mornings. <laughs> like he likes his midday gig. Yeah, here we go. It's a Tim Shambly. Hey, I think it's exciting. Tim Shambly. No, no, he's not on board with this he at is all. Not. So the winner for me... Uh, well, out of those of yesterday's, mm. just yesterday's candidates. Okay, give me just the names. You don't have to play them again, but... Earl, you had Earl Diffie. Earl. Earl's was good. Morgan Freeman. Lorraine Swanson. Jeremy Hyde. Tim Shambly. Daniel Clem. And Chief uh, Charles Clifton. Mm. 
You know which one I like the best, though, really? Which, which one? one, buddy? Earl. I like ah, I like Earl. Do a show with Earl. I would love. Well, I like the I like the read well, you, that he did. Yeah. It's a tr- Earl Diffy. <laughs> I float. <laughs> I just like to read. <laughs> okay. Earl Diffie. Earl Diffie. Morning show. Yeah. It had a lot of compression yeah, on it. It did. <laughs> and you love compression. Well, it, uh, when, when used properly. You know, properly, yeah. yes. You don't want to. We didn't have to affect his. nuts with compression. We didn't have to affect his voice. He just applied the compression it's himself. The Earl Diffie morning yeah. show. That's supposed to be illegal, I think, in most states. Yeah. <laughs> Apply the compression. Do you think if we yourself, if we went that direction with him, maybe we could take the show on the just road more? Because of the RV, do, just don't apply compression in public. That's, that's the yeah, thing. that's where yeah, people you do that in private. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, the RV. Look at the RV component to this. Yeah, I mean, we could do remotes. We put signage on the RV. Oh yeah, for sure. That I think it'd be a genius move to go that route. But we have more interviews today. Um, one of them may be Stephen Gunn. 